This is exporting photos from iPhoto and burning them on a CD for use with Macs or PCs. First thing you want to do is open up your iPhoto library. You want to go to your events. You can export a whole event by selecting it, highlighting it in yellow, or you can do individual photos from the event by opening up the event and selecting the photo that you want to export. We're going to do these three photos here in this event. What you'll want to do is select the photos you have by highlighting them in yellow, click on File, go over here to Export. I always recommend under Kind to do Original, that way you'll have the original file export, especially if you're burning to a CD. Keep file name the same. Under here, if you're using newer versions of iPhoto, you can actually do a subfolder form format. The advantage of that is if you're exporting multiple events, it'll put into a folder under the event name that's created with the event name. And you're going to click on Export. I personally would export to your desktop, create a new folder, call it Images or Burn or whatever you would like to title it. Just make sure you know where it is. Then you just do Export. Once your files are exported, you close out your iPhoto, insert a blank CD or DVD into your drive, if your Mac is set up by default, it will ask you what do you want to do with that CD. Um, the choices are open with Finder is what I would recommend. You're going to open this with Finder. And you've got an untitled CD here listed on your desktop. You can drag that folder that you created with the, with the images that you just exported onto where it says uh, untitled CD. This will open it up and there is your untitled CD ready to burn. Click on the burn in the top left of the finder window. Type in a name of CD that you would like to call the CD and then click on burn. Once this is done, the burn process, which this will be fairly quick as it's only three images. Just to let you know if you export a very large amount of images, you might want to use a blank DVD instead of a CD. The process is the same. Okay, I'm going to cancel this out. There's no reason for me to wait for it. And we're going to hit stop. But that would be the process of burning in, uh, images exported from iPhoto to a disk.